Are you a service-based business owner looking to increase profits to fund your lifestyle? Well, this podcast is for you. We bring you inspirational guests sharing actionable tips to solve many of the struggles you face each and every day. And now, over to your host, Paul Higgins. Hi, Paul here. Before we get into the show, would you like to make a great first impression on LinkedIn? If so, I have something just for you. When people search for your name on Google, your LinkedIn profile will normally come up first. Before meeting someone for the first time, how often do they view your LinkedIn profile? For many coaches and consultants I begin to work with, their profiles don't do them any justice. I've created a simple solution where you can whip your profile into shape to have your best foot forward when attracting new clients on LinkedIn. Go to blgdownload.com, so that's blgdownload.com to get your five killer tips today. Hello to the Build Live Give Solo podcast, episode number 255. It is your first time welcome, and if you love what you hear, please subscribe. I recommend listening to episode 0.5 to really guide you. If you're a regular, Thanks for your support. I love listening to podcasts and always have follow-up questions. You know, you think of, that's a really great question. I'd, I'd love to ask a bit more about that or why didn't the host ask that? And if you're the same, just go to paulhigginsmentoring.com forward slash questions and lodge yours and I promise I will answer it for you. So please check out past shows on your favorite platform to search Build, Live, Give. So today's topic is one very close to my heart and probably yours when you hear it. Why do we shortchange ourselves when it comes to pricing? And I'm sure you're nodding your head right now. Okay, I'm not the best example of this, but I have got better. And what I'm going to do is actually draw on someone that I think is an absolute brilliant marketing consultant and someone that we can learn from. And that really inspired me for today's podcast. So what will you learn? You'll learn Jay Abraham's thoughts on the topic and also why you should have a two-sided guarantee. Okay, so I'll go into more detail on that at the moment. And I thought, how do I sort of open up and introduce this? And there's a famous quote that I'd love to reference. There is no limit to what can be achieved or accomplished. I should say the exact word is accomplished if it doesn't matter who gets the credit, okay? And this one is from uh, an ex-US president, Harry Truman. And I've always used that. And today, I want to leverage off what Jay said to help you, okay? And I hope Jay doesn't uh, mind. I have given him the credit, but it's definitely, you know, built off his podcast and, and what he said, or sorry, his interview in a podcast. So talking about that, I was listening to Mike Kim, uh, Mike Kim is a great marketing content person. I I listened to all his episodes, and this time he interviewed Jay Abraham. And there will be a link to the podcast episode because I highly recommend you listen to it in the show notes. And if you don't know Jay, if you go to his website, it actually says he's the highest paid marketing consultant on the planet. And in the podcast, he references that he's about 75 to 100,000 US a day. So I'd say that's pretty high. And he also attributes himself to generating $21.7 billion. So he's the $21.7 billion man. And you can just go to abraham.com and you can find out more about Jay. But you know, this guy's a big name. His peers are Tony Robbins, uh, Brian Tracy. There's a whole host of people that have recommended him and he loves joint venture partners and partners with some of the best people in the, in the world. But he, on this interview, he sort of went into talking about pricing And, you know, I've got a particular point of view and it was aligned with Jay's, but I thought he articulated it very well. And, you know, it came about from Mike, uh, Kim, the host, was basically getting a coaching session of him, a free mentoring session in the podcast. And he was just saying, look, I feel too guilty charging too much. Jay, you charge, you know, 75 to 100,000 a day. I just couldn't get anywhere near that. I always feel guilty. And, you know, I'd love to know for you, do you feel guilty when, you know, you go to look at a price of what you're going to charge for a day rate or or whatever it is? I know I certainly do. I know most of the people that I first mentor definitely do. So, you know, I'd love to know for, for you, are you sitting there nodding your head and going, yes, I get worried just like Mike did. And Jay talked about return on investment. Okay, so he used an example of uh, 75,000 a day, his charge out rate, and you know if that leads to a company, you know, putting on 10 new people, 
you know, effectively said, you know, it turned out to a uh, $750,000 outcome. And what he said to Mike is, you know, would you pay uh, 75000 to make seven hundred and fifty? And And the answer, the obvious answer is yes. Now, I know that sounds all good in theory, but you may be thinking, look, that's really hard to create a return on investment and particular in services, right? So particularly sometimes if you're a consultant providing certain services, you know, there is a qualitative and a quantitative component to it. I know that when I work with people, I get them a specific result, but they also get a system that carries on to get them further results. And, you know, I think, you know, as you're listening to this, I think the result part is the most important. So if you can go back to the clients you've worked with and really look at the result that they've got and not just over the short period, but the longer period. So go back and, you know, ask them. It's always good to go back to to past clients, see how they are. They may even need some more help from you, but also ask them what's the end result uh, for them now. And then that can internally validate it for you. So you'll feel better, but you can also use that to uh, have really good case studies for you for your clients and you know for me I think you should sort of dig deep into really understanding this right don't do a surface level and the other thing is like trust your methodology if you've got a methodology it's getting good results trust that it's going to work and the other thing is don't put your limiting views or beliefs on you know Um, take those and put it on behalf of the client. I think that's sort of unfair. You know, the way that you're looking at the outcome and the solution could be very different to the way that the client is. So allow them to see the value and therefore, you know, make, you know, not question the amount. Don't go in assuming that they're going to question the amount. So there's a couple of tips that both Jay said, but also, you know, something that came up when you know, I suppose my, you know, 27 years of experience is very much around that. And, you know, the last nine I've been basically selling um, business or B2B service businesses. And, you know, one thing I'd love you to do is just for your next call, your next, you know, um, sales call, etc., just raise your prices. You know, that amount that you think is is too much, just ask for it and see what happens and test it. And the great thing is you can always go back, right? So in our world, B2B services, we don't have our prices all over the website. Not every client's going to to talk to each other and compare prices. It's okay to test your prices and do that. And also, you know, you might be thinking at the moment, yeah, look, pricing's important, but I'm always, you know, constantly... Um, thinking about getting more leads, more traffic. That's what I want. And it's such a negative energy. And it's sort of, you know, it it really does get you down. And, and, you know, I've been there lots and lots of times. To be honest, until I found LinkedIn last year, that was me. Always saying I don't have enough leads. But the simple truth is if you raise your prices, that takes enormous pressure off you getting people in the front door, right? You only, let's say, if you double your prices, only need, you know, half the people. But the price... You know, so that's so important. But the other thing, which is great, that it actually allows you to then fund experts to get people in to help you with the leads and the traffic. So they're my key thoughts on it. But before we go into the double guarantee, which is the second part, I'd like to talk to you about Dub. So it's D-U-double-B. It's an all-in-one sales and marketing video platform that helps you attract, convert, and retain more happy clients. Don't we all need that? I recently did a webinar on how to move connections to clients using Dub, and it was specific to LinkedIn. So the link is in the show notes, but why don't you check out Dub yourself? Just go to buildlivegive.com forward slash Dub. So Jay spoke about, you know, the the business world is a lot more complex. And, you know, when this is releasing, um, you know, it's the end of November 2020, you know, it's, it's even more so with COVID at the moment. And he said that, you know, with that increased complexity he's changed his view on guarantees okay so he used to have a one-way guarantee that if he didn't get the result then he would wear that but now he's saying that you know you need to trust your methodology okay so you know you cannot be fully responsible for the client's actions and what happens so COVID I think is a classic example of that so what he's saying is that you should have a two-way guarantee so that, you know, if they don't follow the methodology and they don't do the work, they therefore, you know, can't get the full amount back. You might proportion that. I, I do. I proportion that. But they've got to do the work. Okay, so I'd love to know from you, what, what are your guarantees? You know, what do you provide and how are they working for you? And, 
you know, I know for a lot of people that don't even provide a guarantee. I think it's definitely worth doing it. It makes it easier. So three key actions out of today. One, listen to Mike's interview with Jay, which will be in the show notes. Two, work out your return on investment model and price accordingly. And three, raise your prices in the next call and also introduce a two-way guarantee. You can get all the links in the show notes at Paul higginsmentoring.com forward slash podcast episode 255 or on the app you're listening to now i recommend the pocket cast app listen to episode 0.5 if you're new it gives you an excellent overview if you want to know if you're going to have a low or a high seven bigger seven figure service business in 2021 just go to paulhigginsmentoring.com forward slash assessment 15 questions, three minutes. It is really valuable. Please connect and follow me on LinkedIn. That'd be great. And if you know someone interested in pricing, please share this with them. Remember to ask me those follow-up questions, especially on this one. It's really important. paulhigginsmentoring.com forward slash questions. Please take action to build, live, give. Thanks for listening to the Build, Live, Give podcast. If you like what you heard, please share it and leave us a review. It would mean the world to us.